This is Benjamin, founder of Farm Again. As we have said before, we have already crossed about 2,500 acres of coconut farms alone. We have talked a lot about the good things that has been happening to us in the recent past and uh, today, as we speak, just about a few hours back, in Indonesia, in Jakarta, capital of Indonesia, there was an agreement between us and the government agencies have been signed, um, where Grotron will be considered as the technology for precision farming in Indonesia. So with that good news, let's get into the video. Today we are in a very dry place, highly rain shadow location. This is part of Karur district but very close to Trichy and it is also very close, you can see right here, uh, close to Tohe Malai. Very dry uh, belt. When you look at the land, the grass, you can actually feel how dry this place may be. This is about five acres of uh, farming. Uh, the farmer is getting into this uh, newly, he's not a traditional farmer. So if you look at the water source of this farm, there is one existing bore from which they irrigate and that's about 500 feet dip. And the water supply is like you wait for about two hours, then you get 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes of uh, water uh, will be pumped out of the well, I mean the bore well. And again you wait for two hours and the cycle continues like that. And just yesterday they've also tried digging another bore well and uh, the depth happens to be around 900 feet of the new bore well. They found water but they'll have to run and see whether it is going to continuously support them. And if it did, maybe they can go for a little more intensive winter crops. Otherwise they'll have to manage with um, the current cropping structure. This is primarily a coconut farm. They've planted coconut. Specifically, they've gone with uh, DJ variety of coconut. And as an intercrop, as the coconuts are growing, they've gone with uh, uh, drumsticks. And the boundary, they have mahogany. And in the future, uh, they're also planning to have jackfruit, a specific variety of jackfruit that will go tall, single stem, which will in the future be used for timber, but for now can be used as a climber for uh, peppers. And at one end, uh, just two rows of uh, dragon fruits. The dragon plants are quite young, so we'll have to wait and see after a couple of months. So this is the current water source, which is uh, drawing water from about 500 feet below. And this water goes to a tank there. We will go to that place now. And like I said before, this is a drought prone area. Uh, so uh, in fact, the drip irrigation design was done by us. Uh, they've used only the pressure compensated drippers everywhere. Um, the crops selected also uh, very carefully selected based on the water availability. Uh, the only crop that will consume that requires very frequent irrigation would be coconut. Uh, the others like dragon fruit or magagani or uh, 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 drumsticks don't really require that much of watering. They, they can sustain with very little uh, water and we have, we have talked about this air water balance before. Our technology Grotron is installed here. What it does is it actually uh, senses the soil uh, every 15-20 minutes and uh, using the same AA model, it will try to predict the water requirement and accordingly it will irrigate. Therefore, uh, the water that is uh, taken out of this borewell, although it, it can only pump for about 15-20 minutes every two hours, every uh, once in every two hours, if you go and see the tank, the water level is al almost always uh, to the brim because uh, the water usage is done very diligently by our system, giving just the right amount of water, not over watering, not under watering. Therefore, there is no wastage of water with, uh, with a thin uh, water source. They're, they're still able to manage uh, the actual irrigation without any deficiency in this form. So this is a water tank. We saw the bore well from there, the water comes straight to this place. And as you can see, it is only a little, maybe, maybe it is about the three fourth of an inch water flowing into this uh, tank and as I said the tank is almost full it is filled to the brim almost uh, although the water comes I mean the, the uh, availability of water from the borewell is only for about 15 minutes every two hours the farm is able to still maintain this much of water simply because of the best water management the system runs only to give the right air water balance it does not over irrigate it does not under irrigate and because of which the plants are healthy uh, they are growing pretty well but at the same time, water is safe. And this is exactly what we can achieve with Grotron. So the depth of this tank is about seven and a half feet. Uh, and we have attached a sensor here, which will continuously monitor the level. And when the water storage, water level comes to around 99% of the total capacity, it will turn off the pump automatically. These plants, these coconut plants have been planted about two feet below the surface. It looks like they probably have dug about three three and a half feet and uh, planted them at about two feet from the surface. I would not recommend this. I mean, I'm not saying this is terribly bad, but uh, if you planted the same plant on the surface, what will happen is that the root zone, as it develops, will right away be, in, be on the uh, aerobic area. 
of the form of the soil we have spoken many times uh, the root zone at uh, the aerobic area which is the top one and a half foot approximately is the area where there is aeration and only when there is aeration the plants will be able to take their nutrition optimally this will also take nutrition but not as optimally as if it were planted on top so i would recommend maybe you can still uh, dig 3 by 3 by 3 it but fill it maybe the top one foot fill it with more organic matter like compost or if you are an inorganic farmer whatever basil you want to give in the top one foot and plant the sapling at the surface maybe you can go for about half a foot depth uh, but certainly not uh, below that one more thing if you look at the laterals here uh, you can see uh, some three four circles have been formed um, so i mean this is meant to relay after the plant grows because once the plants grow you won't be able to irrigate at this place because the roots are not going to be there when they grow they will be far apart so the length was calculated as for a fully grown tree so when they grow up this uh, lateral which is rolled uh, right around the tree will be rolled at a wider space so that it'll the, the water and the nutrition can go to the actual root zone you go to any dragon fruit farm you will see some local innovation and uh, here you can see that local innovation they have actually made a metal structure uh, usually you will see a concrete block which is certainly far more expensive than this so they made this metal structure and placed a cut tire on top of that and as you know tire is quite strong it will certainly be able to bear the weight when it grows uh, so this innovation i think is something people can utilize because it is it is going to make the overall cost much lower i just saw one observation as far as moisture is concerned usually we recommend for the air water balance for any crop but this is a desert crop it doesn't perform in my observation in a proper air water balanced condition it has to have more air it can be configured in grotron where uh, it gets more air than water right so i'm actually going to recommend uh, settings to be changed for this so that it the irrigation to this is uh, lower than what it is now normally one issue we face in every farm is lack of proper earthing or grounding very essential extremely important for any equipment to run properly and this farm i could see a very well done earthing setup and i recommend all the farmers who things of any equipment to be installed in their farm to have a proper earthing so that uh, it improves the life span of their equipment because it it is it basically saves all the equipment as of the fertigation system goes uh, you will generally not see two fertigation systems in two different farms to be the same uh, because most of the companies what they do is they buy out the fertigation system from a third party and they supply but since we make everything in house depending on the need of the farm we custom make and in this farm maybe because of this platform it has been customized to bring these valves to this area and then centralize them inject through this source so um, this is pretty much customized for the requirement of this farm usually in other farms there will be only one knob in uh, uh, on the farm marshal controllers here you see two there are some farms where uh, you would even see four basically what it means is for every pump this controls there will be one such knob which means in this controller there are two pumps connected so two pumps can be controlled by this one is for irrigation the other is for bowel and uh, generally these knobs have got three positions zero means total off uh, now both are in auto position which means it is controlled both of them are controlled by grotron uh, the other is manual for some reason if they want to do manual run then they turn to the manual position and then they will they will be able to control the starter buttons with that they can still control usually we talk about productivity of every crop every crop that we shoot and today we are uh, in this farm right in front of a drumstick tree a normal farmer who does not follow precision methods typically gets around 5 ton 6 ton some even lesser than that per acre and this farm beautifully air water balancing is done uh, we saw that and the plant growth for 6 and 7 months is definitely excellent and uh, even if you look at coconut the growth for 6 and 1/2 to 7 months is awesome and this in my view can get up to around 20 tons per acre average some exceptionally good farms also get around 25 tons per acre but the weather also has to support given the drought condition of this place the high wind of this location i'm confident uh, by looking at the current growth it should be able to hit around 20 tons per acre mark i've always been suggesting farmers to go for intercropping and this farm on day one they've done that in fact they are going to go for more intercropping like i said with uh, jackfruit intercropping is going to give you more revenue and grotron as it is is going to help you optimize the productivity of every crop i mean you can see that you can you can witness you know the excellent growth 
in short span of time in this form. Um, I hope you find, find this video useful and um, if you think this might be of use to some of your friends, please do share with them. And if you want to get notified for uh, any useful video that we upload in the future, please subscribe to our channel. And until we see you in another useful video, see you.